what we're seeing right now is one of my older videos regarding to the AI system. And the main flaw with this function is that it used a transform array system instead of a node array system. And the one problem with that is that you can't link the front of it with the beginning of it. So you always end up getting an error. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can improve that with our newer AI system controller. So let's get started. We're going to take a look at how you can build this AI controller script. So it's a single script that controls literally everything that this AI does. It's not the best AI script in the world, but if you're a beginner, this should help you visualize how the AI system works. So what we have in here is a couple of nodes making a loop of this map and an AI obviously that follows those points. Let's get out of the play mode and let's open up the script. This is the AI controller script. What it has is basically a input manager, a car modifier, a car controller, as well as the audio script into one single script. Now the reason for that is because I've removed some of the fixed update functions. So it gets a little bit lighter down here what i've added is a ai behavior system so in here what we have is a node so all the node has is a previous waypoint and a next waypoint this is totally optional you can simply delete that and it's going to work just fine but we're going to leave that for now and then we have this check distance what this does is it simply checks the distance between the current player which is the ai controller and the node that we're trying to get to if that gets flagged, then we have a filter inside it, which asks if the current node contains a next waypointer and if a current node contains a previous waypoint. If these return to null, it means we have a next one and a previous one. So we can either go into the next or the previous. After this, we have the simple draw gizmos that draws a sphere that shows us the node that we're trying to get to. This is obviously optional as well, so we can just delete that. And then we have the sensor system that we built in the previous video. You can go check out, by the way. Now, all that's left is to build a steering system. Now, in the fixed update, what we have in here is a steer vehicle function. If we open it up, we're going to see that we have a extra function that I've added in here. Now, what this does is a vector3 variable that gets the current node transform position and then it simply calculates the angle from the current position to this current node. And then what I've added is a smooth damp so it doesn't just snap into this new steer variable and there we have it. Now you might be wondering why I've built this get position. This is by the way borrowed from game dev guide which is very very helpful and this in theory should make the vehicle steer gradually. So it doesn't just snap into the middle of the node. So what we can do in here is instead of saying current node.transform.position, we can say current node.getPosition. Okay, we're back into the scene with our trusty golf in here. And then all you're left to do is to assign a current node. Select this node, drag it and drop it into this current node. And that's literally all you have to do if you're using this AI controller script. You can find this script, by the way, in, down in the description below. It's a little bit complicated, but you should be fine with it. And then all that's left to do is simply to hit play. Now, you might be wondering why the car goes all sideways from time to time. And that is because we're using a random dot range from 0 to 1. So if we go back into the steer vehicle and we replace this with the get transform dot position, Okay, we can already see that it's a little bit smoother and it goes right into the middle of the road. Now, if we want it even more smoother, what we can do is point to the current node's pointer dot next. The simple way to do that is to say current node dot next waypoint dot transform dot position. and it fell off the map. Okay, good. So that's about it for this tutorial. 
I hope you've learned something from it. You can of course get this AI controller script down in the video description if you want to look at it. And that's about it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it. And I'll see you in the next video.